I think it's more likely that we'll have a corruption uh, or two than we'll have none, just statistically. So, you know, you want there to be a correction if you're under the age of 70. Like, ostensibly, if you're putting money into retirement accounts on a regular basis. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another video. Uh, today, we're going to discuss the stock market. This is a special report. Periodically, I'll, uh, I'll have these reports, and these will be quick videos. And today, we're going to be discussing the weekly unemployment numbers. They came out this morning, and the possible market correction in the future. All links will be in the below description. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and click the money icon below, and then you can review our past videos. And then smash the like button and subscribe. So let's get busy. First thing I want to cover is uh, that we sold a stock first thing this morning. We collected $881. We picked up 500 shares of PLTR on the, on 420th. And then we just sold it two days later. Made a little bit of profit. We're up to $1,951 for this month. Currently, it's 11 a.m. in the morning. The NASDAQ and the Russell is up. The Dow and the S&P is pretty much flat or a little bit down. These are the stocks that we watch. MU has dipped a little bit. It's an opportunity to jump in. Yes, but it could also go lower too. So you have to watch my MU videos. Everything else is looking pretty good here. Let's go through our jobless claims here. Correct the numbers, please. Yes, good economic breaking news, I might add, Joe. 547,000 on initial jobless claims for the week of April 17th, and that is a new post-COVID low, of course. Uh, that usurps 576 last week. That jumped up just a bit to 586,000. Continuing claims, cycle low there as well. Uh, 3,674,000, that usurps 3,708,000, which was the revision to last week's continuing claims that moved a bit lower as well. So our job numbers are getting better. We'll go through the full report here in a second. Now we can all recognize the fact that we were, what, under 2 million on the uh, continuing claims really before COVID hit. Uh, again, in the 220,000 camp on initial before COVID hit. But nonetheless, these are good numbers. Reopening is obviously progressing. All right, here is the jobless claim report. It came out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Just like Rick stated, is 547,000 versus 610,000 expected. Continuous claims was 3.67 million versus 3.67. Six five, so that's a little bit higher for continuous claims. Last week's new claims came as another welcome surprise after more than a year of elevated initial filings. This is precisely the kind of surprise we like to see based on this analyst and economist. You can read all this stuff about Texas leading the nation and posting the largest drop in new claims. New York followed the drop of 17,300. Then they talk about Florida and Georgia, and I will place this document down below. Let's listen to Josh Brown on what he's talking about this correction. How could we say anything's not possible? We just watched crude oil and traded a negative number. So uh, is, it, is it probabilistically likely? I think it's more likely that we'll have a correction uh, or two than we'll have none, just statistically. So, you know... You want there to be a correction if you're under the age of 70. Like, ostensibly, if you're putting money into retirement accounts on a regular basis, you're not looking to buy at all-time highs every single purchase. So there should be more volatility than we've seen so far. I don't know what will bring it on. Maybe a flaw with one of the vaccines or a new strain everybody bugs out about. But if your instinct is when you do see that volatility and that correction come, you take in stride whatever the news that brought it about is, and you just say, okay, this is not my last purchase, but it's a lower price than I made my previous purchase. Okay, and that's why dollar cost averaging is very critical for a long-term investor. Because we're always going to have dips in the market. And some stocks are already correcting, whereas the other stocks are going higher. So if you're a single stock investor, you have to be careful and diversify. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this short video today. If you like more of these videos, go ahead and comment below. And then I'll do special reports like this. And I'll just number the special report. And I'll, I'll even date 
these reports as well. Again, please uh, share our videos with others and click the like button and subscribe. Until next time, you guys take care of yourselves. This is Sonny. I'm out.